Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Ray J, it looks like everything that was done in the dark with Diddy is now coming to light. Y'all, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the listen, the grand jury has assembled. People said that Diddy's arrest is imminent. It will be happening sometime toward, uh, before May 17th, all right? It's been kind of quiet on the front because people are waiting for the other shoe to drop. But baby, if you look a little closer, you actually see what's going on. Maybe everybody, even Diddy's biggest friends, or as some people like to refer to them, their co-conspirators are doing everything they can to liquidate this assets because they are ready for something so groundbreaking, so earth shaking that's going to ravage not just the music industry, but the entertainment industry that everybody is liquidating assets, getting their ducks in the row and companies that do business with these people are also liquidating assets to get them off of the board. So when things start uh, to, to actually blow up, uh, it won't be another revolt TV or Diego alcohol, where they have to publicly uh, separate themselves. You guys, who is the latest person that people are sighting? No other than Brandy's brother, Mr. Ray J, Mr. Hustle, Mr. Flow, Ray J. You guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Ray J has long had a reputation. Now, I do have to say these are rumors. Nothing has been proven in a court of law or verified or denied in a court of law. Diddy maintains his innocence 100%. And he says he has a few dollars, baby. He going to beat the case because innocence will prevail. To which I say, if innocence is going to prevail, Diddy, shouldn't you be a little bit worried? Anyway, right? So all this stuff is happening. Why are people saying this? Because there have long been rumors and blind items that Diddy has been running with Justin at the helm. He has been running a blank trafficking organization. They're saying that's one of the reasons why his house was raided military level style. They're also saying that Diddy has links to cartel organized stuff. I will be going live later on today, y'all. I know I've been gone for two days, but your girl is back. Meet me on live later, but let me just give y'all a little teaser, right? Did And that's why Diddy's links to criminal activities, why the raid was military level. I know his lawyers keep trying to act like it's just like racism. The federal government is like, there is no racism. We literally think this is a type of force and operation that your alleged crimes warrant. It's all about the bill. Uh, it's all about the board. You can say that little Rod's writing a salacious lawsuit. However, the federal government seems to be keeping these salacious claims, actually believing them. Okay, so what does it have to do with anything? Well, if you look closely at who is coming out and defending Diddy, right now it looks like his closest alleged co-conspirators, if you can believe these claims. Young Miami's trying to protect Daphne's trying to protect right um uh the other girl are talking about love is love is trying to protect okay um all these people we'll talk about daphne later because baby uh, yeah she ain't really 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 help uh diddy's case but it also people are saying that jay-z and beyonce there were rumors they were getting divorced. They're saying they are not getting divorced the marriage is very much strong however jay-z is trying to separate and Beyonce are trying to separate assets because Jay-Z has a lot of business wrapped up in whatever Diddy is going uh, is whatever Diddy, Diddy is going through. And when after that federal raid, they were like, oh, we got to separate assets because this Diddy blowback, we can't have both of our assets looked at funny. You take care of what you're doing over with Diddy and I'll take care of over here. OK, right. Around that time, and this is what I mean, you got to follow the dots to see who's connected. Stevie J, the notorious dirtbag, if you've ever watched anything he's said, done, or whatever, has come out and defended Diddy. If you guys don't know, remember when it was over quarantine and Stevie J gave an interview with this young uh, black journalist and he disrespected her by getting a sloppy toppy in the bed while he was on live and zoom and he said that he was at diddy's star island mansion let's also not forget that Did diddy got two islands on star island people have said that one is for freaking and the other one is for sleeping again right 
We'll see what comes up with that because it looks like the federal government is moving in on that. I do stand 10 toes down on that. Mark your calendars, okay? But when you look at the other people that have been defending him, people said it's people that are very, very close to him. Ray J has been rumored to also like a little, like a little hustle and flow action, like to have inventory of pretty young things that he can introduce to people with powerful positions, powerful people, and maybe make a little something on the side. Now, again, we don't know if that's true, but let me tell you one thing. It does look like Ray J is also bracing for something to happen because he is also liquidating his assets. Now, just to put it in line, Ray J actually spoke out on this and he said, Ray J on why did his friends haven't come to his defense? I think a lot of people are trying to understand it, right? He says, I think a lot of people are just trying to understand it, understand what it is and what's not, you know, it's still a big question mark. Pray for everybody though. Prayers go up for everybody, right? Then when he was asked about Diddy's infamous parties and whether he saw anything nefarious happening while at one of those events, Ray J chose to remain silent. He said, I don't know, man. I got to plead the fifth on that one. Now, let's get into the plead the fifth. People are saying that Ray J right now is deep into whatever Diddy was going to and he has his own dirt. There are rumors that Ray J, I believe it was Tyrese, and uh, and Diddy all had something with Cassie that resembled one of the freak offs that Cassie was, uh, did actually say she went through uh, without her consent. Because I think under law, if you are intoxicated or under illicit substances, you cannot give consent. Now, when I first heard this, I said, Maybe, because I've heard stuff about Ray J, but you know how it is. We were hearing stuff about Diddy for years. We didn't know it was true or false until now we can put together the clues. But look what's actually happening uh, to Ray J. That is one of the most disturbing things that we've actually heard. Ray J is currently liquidating, um, uh, 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 was actually liquidating um, assets. Uh, let's get into this. Hold on. Let me pull the story up, y'all, right? This is directly from the Neighborhood Talk. They said, Ray J is once again making waves in the business world, demonstrating his relentless entrepreneurial drive by diving back in a scoot e-bike, his original venture with his close friend, business partner, Billy J. Fresh. Now, listen, I'm sorry, Billy J. This is now he sold. He struck a twenty five million dollar offer to resell Scooty Bike to a Greek billionaire. A Greek billionaire. Now, here's the thing. Ray J is an entrepreneur. Ray J got a lot of stuff going. It is rumored that Ray J, uh, Tara Marie is one of the unnamed women suing Jay-Z. It is also rumored that Ray J at a certain point was a pimp by blood, not relation when it came to Tierra Marie and the various men in the entertainment industry. Okay. Those are just the rumors that's going on. Don't believe me. Go do your own research. However, this whole scoot scooty bike it's actually a really, really profitable venture. We laugh at Ray J investing in everything, but baby, he do be striking gold multiple times. Ray J has a cute coin. Why would Ray J be selling his interest in a profitable company right now? People are saying because he's going to need liquid assets. People are saying because when this Diddy bomb drops, he is going to be one of the casualties and it's going to affect and he needs as much liquid assets as he can to help fight this. Now, here's another thing that's going on. If you didn't know it, this is fresh off of Ray J cashing in his Raycon shares for a cool 75 million. Ray J is channeling his energy and capital into his latest projects. That's what they say. But again, I understand selling off shares early because that's what people do. I understand selling off shares when you need investors. Both those visit, uh, those businesses are cash cows. It'd be like you selling off, I, uh, uh, I was going to say iPod, Apple shares right now, this day. Why would you do that unless you needed the money? And why would you need the money? Again, it's almost like 
the way Diddy sold off De Leon, Diddy sold off Revolt, Diddy sold off everything. It was important to liquefy, not just to pay for assets, or not just to pay for lawyers, but also to liquefy because you know that when all this stuff comes out, you may be a pariah. Okay. Um, despite pulling in over $340 million in revenue from Raycon over seven years, Ray J Hart's still beats for Scooty Bike, the first business baby he knew inside and out. Again, he's been acquiring a lot, but why are you selling off your ownership in one of the most profitable business? Now, they did say that he's gearing up for another major move. He's um, uh, doing all this stuff. You guys, again, this could be a nothing burger. But watch the moving pieces of this chessboard because no matter how much, in my opinion, Diddy's team tries to scream, there's nothing to see, baby. The feds are telling us there's everything to see. And we need to not just watch Diddy, but we need to watch the Diddy adjacent people. Everybody that's come out in support of Diddy. Everybody that's spoken on the issue. Everybody that has business with Diddy. Look at the way they're moving. And baby, the way they're moving is letting you know the baby, where there's smoke, there just might be fire. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going live later on today. Your girl is back. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. And what do y'all think about this? Because I don't see a reason for somebody selling a profitable business. All oh, your stake in it. Unless something big is coming down the road, baby. We gonna see. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.